Hey guys, welcome to another Worth It video. This is a series where I buy bundles on the Dying Light 2 store. Try them out, test them, see if they're worth buying at all so that you don't have to. Before I get into the video, I'd like to ask you guys to please leave a like and to subscribe to the channel if you find yourself coming back. With that being said, let's get right into it. In today's Worth It video, we're going to be looking at the Prune Thunder Wrath bundle. In this bundle, you get the Axe of Wrath along with its blueprint, the Divine Oak Bow, the Prune Outfit, the Triglav's Paraglider, and the Slavic Axe Charm. All this will cost you 800 Dying Light points or $8. Now starting off with the outfit, it honestly looks really amazing. Like the amount of detail in it is astonishing. I'm not, I'm not really too big on medieval things, but this particular outfit, I'd honestly, I'd honestly rock this in the Dying Light 2 world. Although for me, I'm very into like big heavy armor. So that's just my personal opinion. But yeah, the outfit, it's pretty good. Next we have the Paraglider, which I'm not really, I don't really know much about medieval things or what this could represent, so don't really know what else to say about it other than it looks pretty cool. And for those of you curious, yes, the paraglider does glow in the dark. The eyes and the hands that are holding the swords, those things glow. And the outfit itself in the front has a bit of glowing as well, like the metal little pieces on the chest. And yeah, that's about it. Nothing else really glows. Up next, we have the Axe of Wrath. When fully upgraded, it actually deals quite a bit of damage. It's somewhere in the high ranks of damage. It doesn't have any mod slots, unfortunately, but it does have four number of affixes and 400 durability. It also has a shock effect that can be built up with hits and blocks. You can activate it by holding down R2 and pressing X. Now the weapon itself looks aesthetically pleasing. Like it has this yellow electricity all around it. It's really cool. Like this is something I've actually been hoping we could get. But I would have preferred like maybe Thor's hammer or something. Now I did try throwing it but unfortunately it doesn't come back to you so that's kind of disappointing. I would like a weapon like that that you can throw and when you hit an enemy it makes like this electrical explosion and then comes back to your hand. Like I feel like something like that should be accessible to people who have completed the game. But that's just my personal opinion. Now in terms of how it handles, I mean it's a one-handed axe, not much else to say about it. It's always glowing electricity which I like. I love the aesthetically pleasing effects on it. And when you use the shock effect, the electricity is also yellow. So I'm glad they at least did that. Next up, the Slavic Axe Charm that you can attach to it. It has an 8% critical chance. And it also says right here that this charm gives a weapon a small chance to apply a shock effect to enemies. So that's also pretty cool. Now in terms of whether I would use this charm, not really. There are other charms that are way better. And lastly, we have the Divine Oak Bow. Now it looks pretty cool. It's got this little glowing thing right here, but other than that, it's pretty much just a normal bow. It does have this effect, the fury effect from like the savage bow. But other than that, there's not really anything else special to it. It doesn't do anything special. It does take all the kind of arrows that you have. But other than that, there's not really much else to it. Now that's it for the video. If you guys want to see glitches and other cool stuff for Dying Light 2, check out this playlist right here. But if you want to check out other cool bundles, check out this playlist instead. Other than that, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.